Iran wants to increase its defense tech cooperation with Russia, including the joint development of more anti-missile defense systems and fighter aircraft, Emmet Abshinis of Iran Press told Sputnik. Iran has produced a missile defense system that is superior to Russia's S-300 long-range surface-to-air missile, which Iran took delivery of last year. As well as developing its own Baber 373 surface-to-air missile system, Iran has recently taken delivery of several Russian S-300 launch systems. Russia delivered the S-300 last year, honoring a $900 million contract dating back to 2007. Russia had suspended the arms deal in 2010 following UN Security Council Resolution 1929 which banned the sale of weapons to Iran. Iran responded by developing a similar missile defense system and filing a complaint against Russia with the International Court of Arbitration in Geneva. During successful negotiations between Tehran and the six plus one groups of countries regarding Iran's nuclear program, Russian President Vladimir Putin removed the embargo in Tehran withdrew the case from arbitration last year after Russia made the first delivery of the units. Nevertheless, Tehran has continued with the production of its own missile defense system, the Baver, Belief, 373, which has similar characteristics to Russia's S-300 system. Last week, Iran's Deputy Defense Minister Amir Khatami announced that Iran is carrying out tests of the Baber 373, which was first unveiled last August. Chief editor of Iran Press Emmet Abshin has told Sputnik that Iran's development of the Baber 373 does not preclude a desire to obtain more anti-missile systems from Russia since Tehran is keen to develop varied and modern defense capabilities. Iran is interested in receiving next-generation systems from Russia since it is very important for our country's armed forces to modify and strengthen its air defense network with the latest developments in technology. Action has said that Iran wants to develop its own air defense systems in collaboration with Russia, including the purchase of more anti-missile systems and fighter aircraft. There is currently media information circulating that Iran, in cooperation with Russia, is conducting or is planning to conduct the modernization of its air defense in the near future, beginning with adding modern fighter jets to new Russian missile defense systems and S-400 air defense systems, Abshin has said. Even if Iran is now building something of its own that is more modern than the Russian systems supplied earlier, that doesn't mean that Iran won't buy Russian military systems. On the contrary, it retains an interest in using Russian arms. Moreover, military and technological cooperation between Iran and Russia is gaining momentum. Now Iran and Russia are actively negotiating for the joint assembly and production of some models of Russian weapons in Iran. These might be modern models of tanks and combat aircraft, Abshin has said. Russia's ambassador to Iran said Moscow would have no problem selling Tehran an advanced air defense system when the UN arms embargo on the Islamic Republic expires later this month. We have said since the very first day that there will be no problem for selling weapons to Iran from October 19, Levin Zagarian told the Resala Daily in an interview published Saturday, according to Iran's Fars news agency. However, unilaterally asserted last month that snapback UN sanctions are now in force and vowed to punish those that violate them. 
Zagarian brushed off the threat of U.S. sanctions and said Moscow would consider any weapon requests from Iran after October 18. As you know we have provided Iran with S-300. Russia does not have any problem to deliver S-400 to Iran, and it did not have any problem before either, he said. Zagarian was referring to the delivery of the S-300 to Iran following the signing of the 2015 deal between Tehran and world powers that placed curbs on the Iranian nuclear program in exchange for sanctions relief. In 2010 Russia froze a deal to supply the system to Iran, linking the decision to UN sanctions over Tehran's nuclear program. Israel unsuccessfully sought to block the sale to Iran of the S-300 system, which analysts say could impede a potential Israeli strike on Tehran's nuclear facilities and would likely oppose providing Iran with the S-400. The Kremlin may decide to supply S-400s as a strategic step because of the growing crisis around Iran. That would impose a dialogue on an equal footing on its opponents once again. The anti-air defense systems do not only increase the capability of fire response, they also aid reconnaissance, thanks to their long-radius locators. Contracts for Buckham systems and new batches of TOR are possible. But the most likely compromise is the export of Panzer anti-aircraft missile systems. These systems owe their emergence, also in the Russian army, to a contract with the UAE, which financed the experimental development work. At present, these systems are in service with many Middle Eastern countries. According to some reports, Syria used Iranian money to pay for the implementation of the 2006 contract for the supply of these systems. Rumor has it that some systems may have entered Iran from Syria. Moscow also needs to consider the activity undertaken by other players in the Iranian arms market, such as China. The Iranians have quite strong, and not always publicized, ties with China in the sphere of military cooperation. China has been actively promoting its FD-2000 and Li-80 systems on the Iranian market, while the Iranian Air Force has already incorporated the Chinese automatic system of air defense forces. and facilities control known as Jiteni Russia's leaders will need to figure out how to maintain political ties with Tehran's opponents without missing the opportunity to sell products manufactured by their own defense industry.